Okay, this is going to be the Gettysburg Electric Trolley Part 21 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And I'm walking here on the old roadbed of the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, which is today the Boy Scout Walking Trail, here in the Slaughter Pen. There's the Slaughter Pen Witness Tree, and Devil's Den is to my left. The trolley proceeded in this direction, uh, heading uh, just to the east side of Devil's Den. It would uh, cross a road up here, and then it would proceed to the western uh, face of Little Round Top. And it would cross right in front of Little Round Top. And there are some pictures from this area that I will post along with the video. The trolley would uh, cross by Little Round Top, and it would ex exit on the Millerstown Road, where it would make a right, and meet up with the Gettysburg-Harrisburg Railroad Round Top Spur. Um, if you wanted to take the trolley back into town, uh, you could do so by reversing the route. Now up here today uh, is the bridge that crosses Devil's Den over here to the slaughter pen. The trolley went right by that modern day bridge. In my Devil's Den video series, I did a video on the uh, indestructible rock in which the trolley passed. Now, when the tro trolley got to this point, this is the original roadbed. That over there is not. The trolley actually went straight through this thicket here in this direction, crossed by the indestructible rock, and then headed by the 40th New York Monument. We'll pick that up in our next video. This has been the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, Part 21 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And, and this is going to be the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, Part 21 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And here is the Avenue sign that says Warren Avenue. Um, the Gettysburg Electric Trolley actually passed right here, just to the left of the sign. And you can still see a little bit of the hump in the road. It passed and crossed Warren Avenue right here at this rock. And this rock was also the scene of a second accident when a car that was proceeding down the road here and it had a guide on the fender, riding on the fender of the car, collided with the train here uh, around the same time period as the other accident and that, that, that guard was, was hurt. But the trolley then proceeded here by the 40th New York Monument um, in this direction, straight ahead, just on the western face of Little Round Top. And I'll post some pictures that were taken uh, from this area over here looking at the trolley tracks and also the telephone poles that once stood in front of Little Round Top. Unbelievable as it sounds, uh, from the period of 1895 to 1916, there were actually telephone poles here uh, in the Valley of Death. Uh, so that the trolley could receive its electric power, which of course originated from the power plant back on part one, all the way through the town and all the way out here. There were poles that were existing along the side of the trolley uh, tracks. The trolley then proceeded uh, straight on, little round top before bending to the right and going through the woods, meeting out at the Millerstown Road. Uh, and that's where we'll take over on our last couple parts here of the Gettysburg Electric Trolley. This has been the Gettysburg Electric Pop Trolley Part 21 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Electric Trolley Part 22 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And I'm here on the, off the northern slope of Little Round Top. Our last video was shot from over Warren Avenue, the Devil's Den area, and I said that the trolley had passed on the western slope through the Valley of Death of Little Round Top. It came up here and right by here. And today there is, uh, and this is also secret to the battlefield, the unknown railroad cut. Everyone knows about the railroad cut over on the first day's battlefield. I am standing in the unknown railroad cut right now. This is the railroad cut. I just walked down this little pathway here. This is the railroad cut that the Gettysburg Electric Trolley used as it end 
its journey here uh, at Little Round Top. It actually passed through the woods area. Now, a lot of this has been filled in over the years, but the trolley went right here in the woods through this railroad cut. We're actually walking on some of the old roadbed now of the Gettysburg electric trolley. And I'm going to walk through the woods here and follow the route of the trolley right out the thin strip of woods. This stone wall actually uh, sits in the old cut. You can still see the cut where the trolley passed through. And of course it was filled in later. But this is the secret uh, railroad cut that not many people know about. And then as the trolley crossed through this narrow strip of woods, it ended out at the Millerstown Road, made a right, and then headed up to the station where the uh, Gettysburg Harrisburg Round Top Spur was located. trolley part 23 the end here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook I have to apologize for my part 22 video uh, the hidden railroad cut as I proceeded through the woods both one I began to stumble and uh, get out of breath and secondly my time on my video camera ended so I have to pick it up here where the Gettysburg electric trolley entered uh, out of the woods, rather, and came here upon the Millerstown Road. Today, there's a 25 mile an hour speed limit sign. The trolley actually came out just to the right side of this tree, out here, crossed the road, and then proceeded down the left side of the Millerstown Road. Today, Sedgwick Avenue uh, runs back and forth. It would cross just over this ridge line, and there it would meet up with the steam line, the Gettysburg-Harrisburg Railroad Round Top Spur. And we'll do that line on another video. At that point, uh, you could go to Round Top Park, you could take the steam liner back in, or you could proceed back through the town the way you came in a backwards direction on the Gettysburg Electric Trolley. Again, the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, which had its beginnings in 1895, and ended in 1916. It was one of the first cases of eminent domain used for historical preservation in the United States of America. A trolley which had operated here for 15 years had desecrated parts of the Gettysburg National Military Park and it of course was eventually eminent domain and done away with as modern avenues and car traffic gave visitors better access. This has been the series, The Gettysburg Electric Trolley, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.